Let's jump right into our quick seven minute pre-workout yoga sequence. Starting with our feet hip width apart, give me a nice full deep breath through your nose, expanding those lungs, full exhale all the way out. Next deep breath, we're gonna add those arms, inhale up and longer exhale down. Again, inhale up, longer exhale down. And one more time, reach it up. Let's hold those arms up. Interlace those fingertips, feet together, tilting to your left as you are facing me. Inhale up and to your right. Abs pulled in to support the spine. Inhale up, feet back to hip width apart. And chin to the chest, round and down. Feel the stretch in the spine and then the legs hanging here for just a moment. Abs pull in first as you begin to round up, again, supporting the spine at the top. Let's roll those shoulders back just a few times and standing tall. Looking to your left and then to your right, keeping everything else very, very stable. One more time each direction and then chin to the chest, rounding down again. Stretch the back, bending the knees if you need to. Be in tune with your body, decompressing the spine here keeping that breathing steady. Abs pull in and then lengthening that back. This time pressing into those legs, decompressing the spine a bit more and then we fold down, stretching through those hamstrings and abs pull in, rounding all the way up to the top once again. All right, go ahead and step to the side of your mat, standing nice and tall, full inhale up, swan dive forward. So flat back, reaching down towards those toes, Inhale up, flat back here, and then folding towards those legs. Big step back with your right foot into your lunge. Nice and strong here. If you'd like to, inhale, reach those arms up to the ceiling. Hold for just a moment. And then exhale, fold. Plant those hands, left leg back into your plank. Nice and strong. Chest down all the way to the floor. Lift up into your cobra and drop it down, flowing through these movements, pushing back into your downward dog stretch. Heels can be up or down, knees can be bent or straight. Try to lengthen that back through the arms. Inhale, right leg forward, right between those hands. Get that sturdy stance, arms up, inhale, hold. Warming, stretching those legs as well. And on your next exhale, drop it down. Big step forward with your left. Again, little stretch towards those legs. Inhale up. Flat back, strong glutes, reverse swan dive up, inhale and exhale, arms down. Once again, inhale up, a little bit different this time. Swan dive forward, lengthening your back, bridging those fingertips. On your next inhale, we're gonna flatten that back just a little bit, decompress, lengthen the back and legs. Then next inhale, big step back with your right leg, plant those legs, inhale, raise the arms up. This time, palms together to the center of the chest, Hold, a little bit longer, strong legs. Feel those muscles warming. Inhale, reach those arms, exhale. Drop it down, fold, plant the hands, left leg back. Hold in the plank, again a little bit longer. Dropping the chest down first, then the hips, hold, hover. And then swoop up into your upward facing dog. Strong abs into your downward dog. Holding here, hips high, pressing through all of those fingertips. Option, right leg lifts right up towards the ceiling. Same angle as the arms is your goal. Drop it down, go ahead and switch. Lengthening, lifting as high as you can. Just think of lengthening, straightening that leg best you can. Go ahead and drop it down. Next inhale, we're going to hold that stretch. Exhale, and then inhale right leg forward again. Plant those feet, inhale up, palms together. Hold here, right to the center of the chest. Relax those shoulders. And on your next inhale, we reach up. Exhale, drop it down. Big step forward with the left. Final stretch here, lengthening the legs and the spine. Inhale, flat back up, reverse swan dive. Reach, slight arch to the back and dropping those arms. Big step back, reaching those arms into triangle. Really energize through that right arm as you drop. Think about those long lines through your legs, through your arms, through your spine. Your eyes can look down, forward, or up. Strong obliques bring you up and reaching through your right fingertips. Nice stretch there, arms straight across. Switch those feet. Again, lengthen through the arm, then over. Long line from the tip of your head all the way through the spine, through the tailbone. 
Again, looking down, forward, or up, or a little bit of both. If you'd like to, here's another variation, reaching that arm so it's a long line from hip bone to fingertips. Strong obliques bring us up again. Now energizing through the left fingers and straight across. All right, switching those feet parallel. Very wide stance, strong quads. Fold forward, tabletop, and then rotate to your left, reaching through your left fingertips. Option, placing that left hand behind your back, even onto the thigh, and then reaching up to the ceiling. Strong spine, rotate. Make sure you're lengthening before you rotate. Same thing here, wrapping that arm around. Notice how we're just moving from one pose to the next, flowing through and then dropping down to the floor. Nice stretch here. You can grab around the legs, the ankles, hands on the floor. You do what's best for you. Nice flat back as you come up, toes out, hands right above those kneecaps, stretching, lengthening the spine as you drop your left shoulder forward and then to your right. Flowing from one stretch to the next and strong legs bring us all the way up. Nice lunge here, energize through your right leg and arm. Now resting that elbow on the thigh as you reach your left arm up. Strong, reaching up and reverse. Lift up and out of those hips as you tilt back. Good, go ahead and switch those legs here. And finally, lunging one more time. You should feel those legs nice and warm and reaching that arm up. Big stretch through your side. And on your next inhale, come on up and reverse. And go ahead and bring yourself all the way up and that wraps up this sequence.